During a trip, Francine traveled X percent of the total distance at an average speed of 40 miles an hour and the rest of the distance at an average speed of 60 miles an hour. In terms of X, what was Francine's average speed for the entire trip? So this is a tricky question in a few ways. First of all, average speed. Very important to remember that you can never find the average speed by averaging the given speeds or taking a weighted average or anything like that. The only way in the world we have of finding out the average speed is to use this equation here, rate equals distance over time. The average speed always equals the total distance over the total time. So here I'm going to call the total distance D. And often, as it turns out, in these kind of two-part distance and time problems, if you just call the total distance D, it cancels at the end. So we're counting on that happening. The total distance is D. X percent of that total distance is D1. I'm just going to write that X percent as a fraction, X over 100 times capital D. That's the distance in the first part of the trip. D2. That's the complementary percent, 100 minus x. So I'm going to write 100 minus x as a fraction. 100 minus x over 100 times d. That's distance 2. Now I want the times of the two legs. Well, here I'm going to use this equation, time equals distance divided by rate. And I'm going to use the given rates. So time 1, that equals this distance, distance 1 divided by the rate in the first leg, which is 40. And of course, when you divide a fraction by a number, it just means multiplication in the numerator, in the denominator. And 40 times 100 is 4,000. Time 2 is this distance divided by the rate in that leg of the trip, which is 60 miles an hour. Again, numerator stays the same, 100 minus x times d. And in the denominator, we multiply 60 times 100 is 6,000. So now to find the total time, of course, we add the two times together. And so what we're going to add, xd over 4,000 plus 100 minus xd over 6,000. OK, I know this looks like a monstrosity, but this is not too bad. To find a common denominator of 4,000 and 6,000 turns out is relatively easy. It's just 12,000. That's the least common denominator. So all I have to do is multiply this one by 3 over 3 and this one by 2 over 2. And so then I get common denominator of 12,000. And in the numerator, I get 3xd. I get plus 200d and then minus 2xd and of course I have the 3xd and the 2xd and so those cancel so what I get is just 200d plus plus whoops xd over 12,000 and I'm actually going to factor out that d for reasons that will become clear in a minute 200 plus x quantity times d over 200,000. Well, we're in the home stretch now. The average velocity is the total distance divided by this total time that we've just found. And so this is capital D in the numerator. In the denominator, 200 plus x times d over 12,000, of course, dividing by a fraction means multiplying by its reciprocal. 12,000 divided by 200 plus x times d. And of course, the d's cancel. And we're left with this fraction 12,000 over 200 plus x. And this fraction is equivalent to answer choice E.